All right, here we go, guys. It's uh, bad. It's a shame Immersion RC don't come out with a towel like this for their for the uh, for their quads and stuff that you can do their building on. But I'm gonna do a quick uh, update on it, guys. Immersion RC Vortex. As you guys can see, like I said before, the, it was the you guys noticed it was red. The winter project what I've been working on. You guys can see. She's all white now. She's running Cobra 1960 KV motors, 2204s. Let me tell you guys, this thing is a beast. I just got through hovering here in the room, testing it out. 4S pack, mini glacier, 75C. Uh, gym fan, 5x4s. Man, nice. But as you guys can see, it's pretty slick. This is the new setup where it helps uh, to where the legs will not go all the way because before they would tear up the LEDs right here in the back. So that's a new design that helps stop that. They help you from breaking the LED back here. But another thing I want to touch on, touch base on, guys, is the rotor sense and the ESCs of these bad boys and the 10, the, tw the 12 amps and the 20 amps they just came out with. There's only two, maybe two videos that I've seen out there on YouTube, guys, that actually tells you how to do this. And it really is kind of hard to understand. I mean, it looks like it's real simple and easy, but let me tell you guys, if you don't pay attention, you will not get it right. I mean, I watched that video like three or four times that I did it. And I still couldn't get my my uh, motors to work the same direction. They want they all was turning the same direction, which is counterclockwise. So basically, what it tells you to do, you plug this bad boy up, get it, let it to where it get ready to initialize. This pillar right here, you already know that these bad boys they spin clockwise. So basically, what you want to hurry up and do, you want to hurry up and flick that bad boy real fast. And when you start, when you when you flick it and you hear that first beat, hurry up and flick it again, and it automatically initialize and it tells the ESC that this is the way that you want the motor to spin instead of having to solder, take the uh, wires apart, and after solder one wire, you know to get it the motor to turn the actual direction how it is on the original ESCs, you have to take one wire apart and start backwards in order to get the two motors or one motor to run clockwise or counterclockwise and goes for same for them for this one right here guys the motor spins uh, counterclockwise so basically what you're going to do spin that bad boy that way hurry up and hear that beep beep hurry up and spin again beep 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 start doing all that little crazy sound boom it reads the notice of the ESC to the motor that you want the direction that motor is going to be spinning so it reads that and with this one same here with this one guys it reads the direction of that motor spinning this way so it automatically read it that's what I love about rotor sense and boom therefore you have it uh, the ESCs know the, uh, the direction of the motors that you want them to spin without having to go in and take apart the uh, solder wire the wires and have to solder wire backwards so without being said I'll just give you guys a little maiden flight, maiden hover of this thing. I don't know if I can switch the camera around. I might have to stop it and record the video uh, and see how that goes to switch it around. But then again, I'll just switch the phone around this way, which would be even better. So, uh, this way, here we go. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see that. I already got the uh, transmitter on. 1960s Cobra Motors. Don't know if you guys can see it over there. Here we go. All right, let's head home. Boy, it's a little beast. Little thing is angry, man, I'm telling you. It is something. 
something else, guys. Okay, I love it. Actually, that time it seemed like it's. <laughs> I love it, guys. So there you have it. Vortex rebuilt. Thanks for watching.